G'day crew, welcome back to my training vlog. Today I'll be doing some handstands. Uh, I'm at an intermediate handstand level, so we're gonna do some warm ups and some wall drills and some freestanding handstands. And be careful because I'm in my camo shorts today. And if I disappear into the backdrop here because I'm in camo, don't be alarmed. So the way my handstand sessions are structured, I have a, a wrist warm up to get my wrists nice and warm before we start. And I also need to open my shoulders up because I'm very tight through the chest and the shoulders and the back uh, from sitting at a desk a lot. I have an office job. So I'm gonna do some shoulder opening, some hanging and some stretches, which I'll run through just to give you an idea. So the idea is I try to get that nice straight line when I do my handstands. Every session starts with a warm up. Got to warm up the hands and the wrists. So these are called heel raises because you lift the heels of the hand up from the first knuckle, keeping the weight over the wrists. And I'll do 10 of these, usually two sets. These are called finish push-ups, which are done on the backs of the hands, keeping the elbows in alignment with the wrists, touching the chin down in front of the hands, and really trying to put the wrist through a wide range of motion. These are called pissy former to pointers, which are to warm up the hands a great exercise in control and really just putting the hands and fingers through a full extension. They feel good too. These are called wrist rocks, which are done backwards and forwards just to put the wrists through those particular ranges, forwards and backwards. Here I'm doing some passive hanging for 60 seconds. Just hanging. These are inlicates, which are done with a reverse grip. I'm using my paddle, but you could use a broomstick or anything straight. Ha! <laughs> oh crikey! You couldn't see me then because of my camo shorts, could ya? <laughs> Time to get upside down. I start with nose to wall holds. I can currently manage 30 seconds. My goal is 60 seconds. And I am squeezing very hard. This is hard work through the shoulders, trying to lift as high as I can. These are baby tuck holds. I put my shins into the wall and then press my chest into the wall and squeeze up through the shoulders. Very hard for me. One of the things you get used to living in the country is getting covered in shit. Have a look at this. I don't know if that's bat shit, frog shit, Toad shit, cat shit, <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> Gonna have to head inside for these next drills. I, uh, I need a smooth wall. The concrete walls down here are too brutal on my knees, so we're heading inside, come on, let's go. Okay, we're in my hallway where I like to keep all the family photos. So uh, this portrait is, uh, uh, my great-grandfather, who I'm very proud of. <sighs> Love you, Pops. Okay, let's get it done. These are tuck up and downs. Oops. Nope. Sorry, Pops. That happens. Try again. Tuck up and downs. Three to six reps, really squeezing through the shoulders. These are so hard for me. 
three reps of these and I'm just completely cooked. Freestanding handstands. My best is around 40 seconds at the moment. I'm trying to increase that to 60 seconds. So I have three of my best efforts with about 90 seconds rest in between. It really cooks my forearms. As you can see, I'm having to work hard to save and correct. It's better to fall more towards your fingers than towards your wrists because you've got a better chance of saving the handstand, but these really burn, so hopefully I get to 60 seconds eventually. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but one side effect from handstands is your forearm pump. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, forearms are almost as big as the biceps nowadays. Oh, oh. I'm shaking. Okay, last set, let's do it. Here's my final handstand for the day. As you can see, my line needs some improving. This one was about 35 seconds. I'd like to get it a lot straighter. That's it from me, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.